Well, for adults, Indiana is climbing out of the recession. We know that our unemployment rates are down, our median household income is up, and overall poverty is down. So that all sounds great. However, when we talk about what that means for families with children and the children themselves, we know that one in five Hoosier children still live in poverty. This is a slight improvement from previous years, but it's absolutely still too high. Delaware County actually had the highest child poverty rate in the state in 2015, and that meant that nearly a third of their kids lived in poverty. So think about that. Over 30% of their kids were living in poverty. When we asked why, some folks in that area thought that might be. Some of those experts told us the high paying manufacturing jobs have been replaced by lower paying post-recession jobs. So Hamilton County has the lowest rate at 5.2% and it's held that position consistently for the last several years. So again, overall as a state, we're coming out of the recession. We have some good indicators, but they're just not trickling down yet to impact our kids positively. Single mother households absolutely need the most help because they face the greatest economic hurdles. In fact, more than half of the kids in single mother families in Indiana live in poverty. That's actually higher than the national rate and it's two times as high as single father families and six times as high as married couple families. So that's an increase from the year before and it's something we need to pay attention to. Single moms we know make approximately $10,000 less than single father families make. So again, a big chunk of that's going to go towards childcare. For those families where there's a single mom, that's going to be anywhere from about a quarter to almost 40% of their income, and that's three times as high as a married couple. So again, those single mother families are facing a lot of hurdles, and there's a lot we can do to make sure we pay attention and assist them to make sure that those kids get the care and the nurturing they need. Poverty actually ends up touching almost every aspect of a child's life. When you talk about poverty, you're talking about substandard housing, homelessness, food insecurity, inadequate childcare, lack of access to healthcare, unsafe neighborhoods, and under-resourced schools. So again, all of that combines to have this kind of recipe that can really impact, negatively impact our kids. They have physical challenges and there are changes actually that occur in their brains. There are gaps in learning and education. Their social emotional development can be delayed. It starts in infancy and it increases over time. So they have lower grades, higher dropout rates, all of those things contribute to the negative impact. All of those components of poverty add up and build up on a child's ability to succeed and thrive over time. We know that some of the negative brain changes that are connected to poverty can actually be countered by a couple of really straightforward aspects. One, that caregiver support. So we're talking about a parent, a grandparent, the network of teachers and caring adults in a child's life. We wanna really try to focus on reducing the stressful situations in a child's life. We want to improve their environment. We know that in doing so, it can have long lasting positive effects. Part of that can be connected to after school programs, healthier lunches, mentoring relationships, involvement in school activities. We know that there are strengths in impoverished families. In fact, sometimes they are found to have closer family relationships. They eat meals more together every day. So we're asking, how can we help? How do we know when to intervene? How do, how do we help the kids that are living in impoverished circumstances? You can volunteer. You can volunteer to donate to charities that help low-income families or homeless kids. You can donate supplies. You can donate to food pantries. Really what we're asking everyone to do is pay attention to the kids, not just in your neighborhood, but in your schools and throughout your county. There are a lot of kids out there that could use your help.